fashion sewers and welcome to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you the technique of sewing a bobbin stitch. The bobbin stitch is a technique that is done on sheer fabrics in areas such as darts, tucks and pleats. Now I've got two examples here of a dart. The first one I haven't done a bobbin stitch technique and it's all about how we finish off the thread ends. Now I've done a knot here, it could also be a back stitching. And what we don't want to happen when we do a bobbin stitch is that we don't want to see any evidence of any securing of the thread, whether it's a knot or back stitching on the right side of the garment. Now this is the second one is the bobbin stitch technique. And as you can see, there's no knotting and there's no back stitching. So if I turn this over, you should see no evidence of any little tails that are going to be visible or back stitching on your darts, pleats and tucks and the bobbin stitch, nice, pretty and professional looking. The first thing we need to do is set up our sewing machine. I've got my zipper foot on here, but this is only for demonstration purposes. Now we need to take the top thread out of the needle, out the other needle and then we're going to get the bobbin thread and we're going to thread that through the eye of the needle. But we need to make sure the thread is coming from behind towards you. So you're going to thread it through so it comes towards you, like so. And then once you've done that, pull out a good amount, roughly about 45 centimetres, 12 inches, thereabouts, and then you're going to knot both ends together. So the top thread and the bobbin thread have now been knotted. We now need to bring the bobbin thread up through the path of the thread, top thread, and we need to wind it round the spool. Until it stops there, and you should see the knot where they're both being joined. You are now left with just one strand of thread and that is a technique for the bobbin stitch. Now we're going to be starting at the point of the dart and whether it's a dart or a tuck or a pleat, you need to start at the inner part of the garments because you don't want the the securing stitch, whether it's a knot or back stitching, to be evident. So um, I'm using my zipper foot so you can see where I am, and I'm going to start on the edge, put my foot down, and my needle down, and then just start sewing as you would usually do. Here's the dart I've just sewn. And as you can see at the point, there is no reinforcement of the stitching, whether it is back stitching on a sewing machine or tying a knot. The bobbin stitch is a great technique when using sheer fabrics for when you come to sew those dark tucks and pleats, so do give it a go. Don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV for free weekly video tutorials. And if you have any comments or queries, please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.